about a week ago, I received a comment asking about the current two multiple registers. Now, I haven't had a issue with it, and it's actually been a while since I checked the current. And what I'm actually having a bigger problem with is too much of a current draw on the uh, LEDs themselves. So, um, I'm going to decide to take a look because it's been a while since I actually checked to see what the actual current draw is. So, i uh, going to go ahead and check that. But first, as you know, it's off, which is why I want to check the current draw, is I keep having to recharge the batteries. It's not a great uh, hassle, but if you want something that's going to be long term, you want to be able to use the uh, batteries. So what I'm going to do is uh, charge up these batteries and then we can uh, continue on in testing. Got the batteries charged up so let's uh, turn it back on. Okay so we have it running and as you can see here because of the way I have it going this is a, the power cable coming or the positive lead coming into the breadboard with the registers and the LEDs. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this multimeter in uh, as an amp meter in between and and let's see what the uh, current drawer is. Okay. So now we have 28 and a half uh, milliamps going to this circuitry. Now, there is other current going from the control lines, the clock lines, and each of the control lines, but we and we can actually check to see what the current is overall coming back from the ground just by basically reversing what we just did. So go ahead and reconnect the positive lead. Okay, and then we can connect the it to the negative lead and see and getting 27 same uh same amount of current and it's actually interesting we are getting some current uh, sinking through those control lines too so that could be uh, an issue to look into so how can we get this uh, current lower so each of these four LED modules goes through a current limiting resistor. Now, what we can do is change what that uh, resistance is. So I believe these are all about 300 ohms. So what I have here is about a 1.4 um, K ohm resistor. So let's uh, go ahead and rewire it to go through that resistor. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is uh, remove the power from the circuit. Now, there's two ways I could go about doing this. One would be to tie in all the individual resistors to one central location and connect it to the this 1.4 and I'm just leaving that there for reference that 1.4 uh, k ohm resistor the other thing I can do is that the only other things that are running to this ground rail well besides that are the four chips so just because of the way how everything is crowded on here, I think the easier way would be to redo the way this ground rail is run. So I'm going to 
first take out this jumper okay so I'm gonna take this jumper and reconnect it to this pin over here now what I can do then is take out each of the other jumpers and tie them all to that same uh, pin location. And this step may actually not be necessary and it could possibly run the, these pins through the current limiting resistor that I'm going to be adding but we'll just uh, connect these uh, four ground pins directly to ground okay I have everything connected now I want to check to make sure everything is working correctly so I'm gonna go ahead and power this up I do have the ammeter uh, connected in between and it is still drawing 28.5 uh, amps so it's been varying between 27 and a half and 28 and a half so what I'm going to do is remove this ground line and replace it with this resistor and yes I am doing this while the circuit is live Okay, and now you see that we, the current draw has actually dropped significantly. It went from 29, 27, 28, 29, down to 1. And let's see, yeah, 1.01 .01, uh, milliamps. So this, and as you can see, it is dimmer. We could, um play around and use other resistors and try to get something uh, closer. So now this should significantly add to the time that each of the batteries are able to keep this charged. And we can go ahead and keep uh, working with this to get a uh, better result but I'm gonna go ahead and off camera uh, tidy up some of this uh, and give it a test to see if it does indeed last longer with these batteries now that I've reduced the current over, uh, overall current drawer by 28 milliamps so the uh, yeah, so the overall uh, current draw is minimum for these uh, four chips. Yeah, once again, I'd like to thank uh, Holo Light Shop 9617 for the comment. Uh, yeah, I was able to do some uh, improvements. It was a little bit of a push to start uh, working on this more and this is sort of what I've already done with the wire wrap um, as you can see I am still having difficulty uh, doing the soldering on that so it may have be beyond my uh, my skill set but we can work on the overall design here and the other thing that I'm going to need to start doing uh, soon is I need to start working on the C++ code. Uh, and that will be in some future videos plus some uh, up improvements here to try to get this uh, working a little bit uh, better. But... Uh, Thanks for uh, watching. You have a great day.